The people of Constantinople may keep their possessions. There will be no looting. In return, you will open the gates of the city and kiss the hands of our Sultan. Sultan Mehmed will be the one ruler of the Romans. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are on the people's page, welcome. Today I want to talk to you about the Father. Many of us are confused about the Father in the New Testament. Now one thing you have to know is everything that Jesus spoke was in fact in a parable. He spoke in a parable to hide the truth. If you don't understand that, you're going to be lost in the New Testament. I'm going to say it again. Jesus spoke in parables to hide the truth. There were mysteries that he didn't want anybody to know of. And when he spoke of the Father, the Pharisees did not understand him. Now, I'm going to get two scriptures today. That's it. This is going to be John 5, 18. Therefore, the Jews sought the more to kill him. Because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Now let's go to John 8, 27. They understood not that he spake to them of the father. Now, if they're talking about the father that's in heaven, that would be a contradiction. Because the Jews, the scribes, the Pharisees all knew that Jesus was calling God his father. Now, they thought he was calling God his father. Jesus never once said that God was his father. When he called himself the son of God, he first called us gods. And that makes perfect sense because he is the son of man. Over 82 times it's mentioned, maybe 93. I know for a fact in the book of Ezekiel, it is mentioned about 82 times. But in the New Testament, Jesus identified as the Son of Man about 93 times. So going back to John 5, 18, Jesus talked about a father. And this father was a mystery. Understand, Jesus spoke in mysteries. He was not telling God's secrets to the Pharisees. He only spoke in parables to do what? You say it to hide the truth. So what is going on with this mystery? According to the Bible in 1 Corinthians 4.15, Paul is identified as a father. He called many people in his church his sons. He called Titus a son. He called Philmon a son. He called Onesimus a son. He even called Timothy his son. Why? Because Paul believed that he was the last and final messenger. He stole the term saints from Deuteronomy 33 and 2, and then he popped up in Arabia like he was the prophet prophesied of in Deuteronomy 33 and 2. Real short, Deuteronomy 33 and 2, for beginners, speaks of three messengers. It speaks of Moses coming from Sinai. Then it speaks of Christ coming from Seir, because Seir is Edom, where the term Esau comes from. And Esau is going into Esau. And many people today believe Jesus rose up. In Islam, we believe that God took him alive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he has not died yet. We believe that he will die later. Then the next prophet it talks about is a prophet from Arabia. We believe that this prophet would be from the nation of Ishmael. And Paul tried his best to. To steal this mantle. And he was caught red handed. And now today. Islam is the number one fastest growing religion. On the planet. You can't stop it if you wanted to. So those are the three messengers. That is spoken of in Deuteronomy 33 and 2. That's why experts know. That are in the Bible. We know that Christianity. Is nothing more than a fake Islam. Christianity was stolen from Deuteronomy 33 and 2. It belonged to the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. He is the messenger that showed up in Arabia 629 CE with 10,000 saints, converts, or Muslims. And from his right hand went a new 
law. Paul thought he was this guy. That's why he wrote all the letters. Even the prophet Esau, peace be upon him, told us he didn't come to destroy the law of Moses, but Paul did. He said with his own mouth that he writes the commandments of the Lord. So there you have it in a nutshell. Paul is this father that is a mystery. We can't say that Jesus was talking about the father because the Pharisees already believed that he was talking about God, thinking that he was equal with God, making God his father. So that interpretation is incorrect. It is not true. Jesus wasn't talking about God Almighty being his father. He was talking about Paul who was grabbing a hold of his heel. He was talking about the false Messiah. He was talking about the wolf in sheep clothing. He was talking about the man who's guilty of teaching the leaven of the Pharisees. And that is the teaching that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He is the man that is bound in hell in Bulas, which is Paul in the Arabic tongue. For all of eternity, he is the certain rich man in Luke 16 that was sentenced to hell. Why? Because he wanted somebody to come back from the dead. Paul is the beast of revelations. Why ain't the church caught up yet? Why ain't the Israelite camps caught up yet? What's wrong with us? How come we can't read the Bible? You know why? Because God has put blindness on the people. Jesus did not come only to open the blinded eye, but Jesus also came to blind people. And you are one of the ones that Jesus has blinded. You see, Christ was a stumbling stone and many people fail. But right here in the house of David, we have the healing for the Christian and that is the nation of Islam. So to put it all in one big sentence, Jesus is the son of Paul. Just like David was the son of of Saul. There's nothing new under the sun. History repeats itself. The thing that hath been is the thing that shall be. So in John 5, 18, the Jews said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. And this was not true. Jesus was speaking in a mystery and he was telling us that Paul was his father. Paul was the father of the Christian church. Stop being ashamed of your daddy. Stop being ashamed of your daddy. The same religion that teaches that a son should be exalted over a father. I don't like to call him father. I like to call him God because Allah has no sons. This same religion that teaches that a son should be honored above a father is the same religion that doesn't honor Paul as their father. All right. I want you to share this channel. Share it with someone who knows the Bible. It's only going to take a little bit of time for someone who really knows the Bible to follow along with what I'm saying. You don't understand it because you don't read. You just seen a video that you disagree with and you try your best to refute it. But you can't because all this stuff comes from hard work, study in the Bible. You can't just study the Bible in five minutes. OK, most people that are in the church are nothing but church goers. There's a difference between a church goer and a word lover. I learned that a long time ago when I was in prison, when I got out and went to church, I was shocked that the Christians did not know their own Bible. I was so taken back by that. And now I'm in Islam and I'm seeing for show why I'm here is because it's the truth. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth. Share this channel with your overseer, your bishop, your pastor, who's been robbing you of your money and your offerings and taking up all this space on the earth. All these Christians that have these pastors, these pastors ain't nothing but a waste of space. All they doing is taking up room. Okay, it's time to get out the way because I am here and I am here to show the world that Paul was the father of of the prophet Isa in the Bible. In the Quran, Jesus is called the son of Mary, peace be upon him, which is a metaphor. Why? Because think about it. Jesus is called the son of Mary. He's called the son of Joseph. He's called the son of man. And he's called the son of God. All that equals to Jesus is the son of Paul. So God has humor because he set up there and called Paul a woman. Okay? <laughs> Paul is the son of Mary. 
in a metaphor. That's all he is. He's the prophetess. He is jail, the tent peg killer, who's been killing the church with the cross. He is the prophetess. He is Jezebel, who's been teaching the church to eat food, sacrifice to idols. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.